Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. I am not at the mall. I am actually at Copper. Um, I, I, I'm getting ready to turn it on. Uh, we're getting really close, but before we did that, I, I just wanted to come in and just get a little bit more Copper Ore. Get a little bit more Copper Ore mining, as well as get uh, get some more Copper Furnaces. I, I, I increased it to a full stack. We are out of wooden power poles. Go figure. Uh, we can make 12. I guess we're out of wood. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll have to get some more wood. All right, well, we actually didn't really even need that many there, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. All right, let's go ahead and just get these guys up. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to increase copper a bit. And copper's backed up right now, and that's good, uh, but it won't be long until it is not backed up anymore. Um, okay, so, uh, let's take a look at our mall here. Um, I, it's, we're getting steel. We probably need to expand steel now that I'm thinking about it as well. Uh, because, uh, there's going to be getting ready to be a big steel demand. Uh, but yeah, it's all just sitting here, all primed, all going blinky blinky. Uh, all we need to do is turn it on. So let's do that. And, uh, let's see, let's create like a million lights. Because I want to have some lights and we'll go and light this thing up as we go and just kind of do a little tour of what's going on. All right, that should power it. That should bring it to life. Let's uh, go over here first before we look at the actual mall. Let's just make sure all this stuff is working. Um, we have gear machines gearing. Uh, we still don't have red circuit check. Can we go ahead and get those? Uh, what is that? I don't remember. Uh, we are going to need that here soon. Um, what's advanced circuits? Do we not? Oh, we probably need to get we need to get plastic in order for that to occur. Okay, let's do uh, let's do the fluid wagon, and uh, once that's done, we'll get to working on plastic. Okay, so our green circuits, they're doing good. These guys, they are working. I'm just making sure that I didn't uh, mess up anything. All right, those are making the green circuits for the reds. Um, those will just buffer up. We're getting green circuits on the side, and they are going on that side of the belt like they're supposed to. And uh, we have gears, copper, and circuits coming out. Excellent. Um, these gears come in. I split them off. Uh, I did have it going... Well, no, that was a previous build. This is actually correct. So we got a main, main line of gears. Split and split again. Uh, down here... That's going well. Uh, up here, into start to enter the knot. Uh, we have steel uh, joining off in several places and joining up with several things. We have uh, steel and iron merging there. We have circuits going down there. All that, all this looks like it's doing correctly. Uh, gears joining a pipeline. We're making some pipes here. Uh, we are making some copper wire here, putting it on the line, going through a second knot. Um, iron going with green circuits there. That looks good. Or why we're doing both. I don't know. Not going to question that. Uh, not, a, not this early in the game. Uh, circuits coming through here. Okay, we've got that. Looks good. And circuits coming around on the outside. All right, I think I think I think everything's set up. At least at the first glance, it looks like everything is doing fine. Let's come in here and take a look at the mall. So the idea here is that we're going to be walking along our pathway, and uh, we'll just come in here and hey, let's uh, let's visit the mall. Let's uh, and we've got little different shops set up in here, right? Uh, so this is kind of like our logistics shop. Uh, we have oh, and as we add the lights, it'll just light everything up. Oh, this is nice. Uh, we have all our inserters and transport belt stuff in this first shop. Uh, we have our yellow belts, red belts, and this will eventually be blue belts, yellow undergrounds, red undergrounds, blue undergrounds. I put an extra belt machine right here so that we can feed it onto uh, the splitters. We have our yellow and red, and of course, this will be the blue. Um, inserters, we have the regular inserters, the long-handed inserters, as well as fast and filter. 
Uh, these two blank spaces right here are for the um, stack inserters and the stack filter inserters that we do not have. And I have some inserters over here that aren't being put in boxes. They're just being made to supplement the uh, stack inserters being made. made. And uh, this is the, the first little shop. Let's move up here to the next one, uh, which has everything to do with... Uh, logistics as well as um mining and uh smelting and doing refining stuff uh we have our steel furnaces being made right here we have our pump jacks which are missing circuits right now it's gonna take a while for those to catch up when it first starts up but it'll get down here soon once it gets done with all the miners which are right here uh chemical plants uh regular pipe as well as underground pipe being made here uh, here we have our assembly machine line. We have our level ones down here. We're not saving those. They're just moving on to the next ones. Uh, lights. I ha built all these lights and I'm not putting them down. Uh, up here we have all our circuit network logistics equipment. Uh, red and green wire plus all of our combinators. We have our power poles right here. Um, this guy in the corner right here is making speed modules, which go and feed this, which will be the assembly machine threes, whenever we can make those. All right, uh, let's go up to the last shop in our mall, which is all of the train stuff. The train shop, we have our uh, stations, signals, uh, we have cars. Uh, we have regular cars. This will be the fluid wagon uh, tanks. Uh, locomotives being built right here. We have pumps being built. Uh, we have an engine machine right here on the side that's feeding both the pumps and the locomotives. Um, these two uh, are the miscellaneous ones that I threw in here. One of them are is robo ports. The other one is beacons. Uh, we cannot create those right now, uh, but we do have everything we need here. Uh, we have lights up here. We have our train track, which should be doing well. Yeah, let's go ahead and bump that up quite a bit. And up here, we have uh, our iron chests, or sorry, our steel chest, which go to a box as well as out onto this line. And all of these places up here are all our logistics chests. And uh, yeah, that's the, uh, that is the practical strip mall we will be using in this playthrough. Uh, let's see. We're getting gears down here. Gears look pretty good right here. Yeah, gears are always pretty pretty heavy demand. Even though half the gears that we're creating are going down here, um, it's it's all it's all it's all to the belt, all to the belt. Inserters um, they take a little while to stock up, but like once filter inserters stock up and long-handed inserters stop stock up, that gets a lot better. Plus, once once these guys stop nabbing all the circuits, it, it helps quite a bit as well. Just take a little time for for the initial stock to build up, and it gets a lot faster. All this is actually looking pretty good. Uh, sands the green circuits. And circuits and circuits. Yes, it's all about circuits. And uh, let's see, it's not iron, it's not copper holding it up. It's just, it's just production, just production right now. Well, that's fine. That is just fine. That is all building up, and it's exactly what we want it to be doing. I think we need to definitely use some of these turrets around here, though. Um, especially here, because I don't want my ammunition factory to be uh, blown up by biters. That would not be a good thing. And we probably need to just set some perimeters out here. I, I haven't been attacked yet. Um, not that, at least that I'm aware of. I've been having an issue with my alarm sounds. Uh, they just, my, my alarm sounds are not sounding. And uh, it seemed like uh, in the last uh, in the last session with Drake, uh, I, I got it to where I think I heard some alarm sounds. I mean, it's not the volume. Uh, the volume seems to be set just fine. So I think it is. Uh, sounds. Alerts volume. I mean, yeah, it's up. It's up there. Uh, I guess I could, I could, uh, 
I guess I could bring it up a little bit more. I don't, I don't know. Uh, no, I do not want to do that. I want to resume. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not quite sure, I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Um, let's see, yeah, you guys are done. We've got, we've got you. And yeah, we've got a, got a pretty big draw right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab some. And you know what? We don't have we don't have turrets here either. Let's uh, let's get let's get some protecting this area. And uh, I think we pulled up the turrets here to fit in the science, and we never replaced them. That is never a good idea. Just go ahead and get some science cops in here. There is fluid wagon. Let's do plastics now and let's head toward uh let's head toward making um that and let's get another row of science labs. Let's get two rows of science labs. We still have plenty of inserters. Let's get some more. Uh, here I am handcrafting inserters after I just spent all of that time <laughs> automating everything. Oh well. Okay, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. You know what I did not do? which is something that probably definitely needs to be done, is to check on the power situation. Now that I've just added all those millions of assembly machines to uh, the mix. Because yeah, that, that, all those assembly machines and inserters just may make a bit of a difference. That's pretty good. Um, that's, that's, that's pretty good. We might want to think about expanding power as well as expanding smelting as well as expanding some radar. Let's uh, take a look at the map here. Let's see, we have radar coverage. We've got one down there. We've got one like right here in the middle. Probably need to get one in maybe like in this area. Maybe like right. Now let's carry power on up. Yeah, I don't like I don't like when they attach to something and it it messes up. I wish it would just always do the max distance thing. I don't I don't see a lot of benefit in the auto hookup mode. Um, basically, because it, it it never seems to do it right. Oh yeah, there we go. That is all the base covered. Okay, let's go ahead and just get some turrets up here to protect all of this stuff that we created. Got some here and uh, that pretty much brings it pretty close yeah I'm surprised uh, I'm surprised we have not been attacked yet that's a little strange to me we've got some guys really close here and our pollution I guess our pollution is just not really hitting any of them yet um, it's getting really close to these guys over here Really close to these guys over here, but we're just not actually hitting him yet. Oh, well, no, we're hitting one right there. So yeah, so they'll be coming soon. Uh, we'll we'll have we'll have some biters. Um, I don't know. We may uh, we may want to go and uh, locomotives. Excellent. Uh, we may want to go and just uh, and take care of some of those guys. Let's uh, come down. We should have we should have a lot of ammo now. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot. Military science in my pocket for some reason. Yeah, let's see. Let's go. Uh, let's go check out this oil place over here, and uh, we'll just do a little bit of, of biter pre-clearing. This is going to be one of the very first outposts that we do. One of the first times we're going to use our rail. I think it's going to be like the last uh, series where we. Uh, um. Yeah, there we go. Red circuits. Let's get, let's get those guys. Um, even we can make red circuits, we are not going to be able to get them in the mall because we do not have um, Whoa, whoa, no, 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 not pistol. There we go. Even though these guys are super weak. Super weak, but still don't want to sit here and do it. Excellent. Um, and uh, we do have expanding biters, so let's just uh, let's leave some friends here, just to protect that area for us. And boy, I having a hard time seeing. Okay, so there's an oil patch right there. All right, there they are there. Just hard to see with all the trees and all the ground clutter. Run over here and uh, talk to this guy over here. There's somebody way down there. I guess we've got this one up here. We can go ahead and, and attack. I'll look over, check on the mall, see how things are going. All right, yeah, we're starting to get some inserters. Uh, we do get, we got belt in there. Uh, we have all of our combinators being made. We have power poles. We have all of that stuff made now. We even have some blue assemblers. Excellent. Um, yeah, lots of tracks still being made. That is very good. those down and let's go ahead and we'll take this one up we got our elect advanced electronics let's do let's do gun turret damage I'm gonna be very prepared for the biters this time now this is not a small base you know what I don't even have armor on can I, can I make armor? I can. Let's make some armor and let's make some repair packs. Yeah, I like to throw turrets in, and it's not that I'm incapable. Oh, oh no! What's what's happening? Thank 
Okay, that was that was my bad. That was my fault. I was just not prepared. I don't think I lost any bullets with that turret. Well, you'd think with the wave defense scenario and uh, with uh, playing on the death world with Drake that I'd, I'd, I'd somehow get better at this. And uh, it just it just doesn't seem like I am. All right, there we go. All right, since we're up here, I think I'll go ahead and just get this one over here. Oh, look at that little water thing. How quaint. That's a puddle right there. If you hear me complaining about puddles, that right there is a puddle. It's just a little tiny piece of water that's in the middle of something big. Like, you know, I'd be laying solar panel arrays up here, and there'd be that little puddle right there that just completely messes everything up. I don't like them. I don't like them. Ooh, that's a worm. All right, we got this in the bag, I believe. Um, well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I am going to sit and let the mall kind of build up for a little bit and uh, maybe take out just a couple more of these biter bases and, um, yeah, let all our supplies uh, catch up a bit. Um, I don't know. Do we have the next science? We do have the next science. We do have the next science, but it's going to require some oil processing. So I think, um, I think we're going to have to think about... How we're going to get that oil um yeah i mean i think it's going to be i think it's going to be like we did in the last series in that we just get a, a temporary train that runs from up here down to an oil refinery area and i'm guessing we're gonna have to do refining down here this just it makes it makes sense to put it right here uh since that's where the water and the coal are so yeah we'll do that um probably in the next episode well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.